how you doing guys um i'm back at where i was yesterday um i jumped on a hop on hop off bus um i've done like an hour 30 minutes tall already um <laughs> i was sleeping up on the bus though i was so so tired where was a good um short tour around the city i think it was like an hour 30 minutes so that's the actual hop on hop off bus i got on i'll show you in a minute um today is slightly busy i think a lot of people are doing family activities anyway so it's somewhat busy I'm flying back to the UK today, um, my flight is at um, 11.45 and I'm arriving in the UK for like 12.50 in the morning, yeah so that's the bus I took, um, it's quite good though, it's really good. Um, so how has my trip been so far? Um, it's been really good actually. Do I feel bad leaving today? No, I don't. Um, there's really nothing else you could do in Oslo, to be honest. Um, these are the things I think you can do in Oslo. Not Norway, Oslo. Um, I think they have a number of social stuff you could do like obviously like drinking um they have museums um if you're into water activities they do have certain things that you could do um they've got a nice sauna next to the river so what you do is you go in and you book it and um you can literally use the sauna there and also, some people swim around the sauna. If I see people doing it, I'll show you. So it's just literally like a riverside where there's a sauna and people tend to like swim around um, the sauna. But if I see somebody doing it, I'll show you. It's hard to explain, to be honest. Um, they do have a lot of military personnel today um, maybe they are celebrating um, the world war or something who knows i don't know but um, they do have a lot of military personnel around today also i did see some people earlier um, they were obviously talking about ukraine and russia that's not really something I want to talk about on my channel. But yeah, I did see um, I did see some people um, protesting today. So that's a little that's a little bit of entertainment for you. I suppose he's speaking Norwegian. Um, I need you feel. Oh, he's speaking English. <laughs> I thought he was speaking Norwegian. Next minute, uh, it was English. Um, but yeah. So, I hope you guys are watching my videos though. So I've brought out two videos already. Um, there's more videos to come. So make sure you're watching my videos. Make sure you're liking. Make sure you're subscribing you know promote my videos it looks like the norwegians are quite good though it looks like a lot of norwegians are watching my videos so thank you norwegians okay so what's this so this is literally like um this is a ship obviously but it doesn't look very tidy that's the most untidy ship i've ever seen it looks a bit messy um, it looks like they have kids jumping on top of it. Okay. 
a very untidy ship. Um, they might just have little activities for them on there to see, who knows. Um, but yeah, so like I was saying, um, Oslo, there's really not a lot to, to see or to do. So yes, they have some water activities. They do have social activities you could do. They do have a museum. They do have um, certain car fanatics. You see a lot of them around, you know, with like used cars, revving the engines. You see a lot of them in town doing that. Um, yeah, aside from that, there's really nothing to do. But um, what I'm gonna try to do is, um, I'll try another visit, obviously not this year. Um, it might be sometime next year or the year after next. Um, I might go to a place called Bergen, um, which is obviously much more of like a countryside. And it will be nice to see um, what Bergen has to offer. Because sometimes coming to the city might not be the best thing to do. Because the city is always the city, isn't it? Um, talking about food though, so um, <laughs> I decided to try um, the Burger King in Oslo just to compare, you know, taste, yeah, because obviously I've been to a lot of countries before and I've had various types of Burger King. So I said, okay, let me try the, um, the Oslo Burger King and it was the worst ever like it felt like they put the burger it felt like they literally dumped the whole burger in oil and they pulled it out it was so disgusting like i can't even call that burger king because all the burger kings i've eaten like there's a particular type of taste like beefy taste um it didn't meet that standard at all so i don't even know what to call it i can't even call it mcdonald's standard i can't call it burger king standard it's literally something else so avoid the burger king in oslo um go for their local meals though they have very good local meals um aside from the burger king the food in general has been good um, yeah it is a very very busy Sunday so it looks like they're doing something in that place but I don't know where it is due to copyright issues um, I don't want to go in there because some of the some of the music in there might be subject to copyright so I'll just avoid it also um if you come to oslo they do have a lot of like cruises you can go on i think they're like short cruises anyway so you might get like a buffet or like drinks or champagne whatever the case may be because i'm on my ones in this trip i thought i would um i would allow it but it doesn't stop me from doing it though. I think I'm just a bit worried about the weather. <laughs> Cause the, um, the Nordic sea is not the warmest, trust me. Um, I'd rather do it when it's very, very hot. And today's not that day, so I'm going to have to pass. Okay. Um, Let's keep walking around to see. There's a lot of um, snacks around. If I want to get anything now, I will say a hot drink. Um, I need something nice and hot. There's a lot of burgers. You see, the, um, the Burger King I had yesterday has really put me off having burgers, you know. That's how bad it is. Um, it's really put me off having burgers. 
that's why it's good to have good food you know like when people sell you stuff that is not great it deters you from having more okay so they've got um they've got some thai food there they've got hot drinks let's see noodles bubble tea um, i need something hot though Do you have something hot? Hot? Oh, yes. Like, well, what do you have that is hot? So everything you can make hot. No, no tea. Hot I need tea. hot tea, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have hot tea, yeah. What tea do you have? Yeah. I hope he's not giving me the conventional tea, though. That's not what I want. No. Is your, um, is your bubble tea not hot? No. Oh, do you have, do you have mint tea? Mint? Mint? Not green, mint. Oh no, that's yellow. Oh, green tea. Okay, how much is your green tea then? Uh, okay, yeah, let's go for that, yeah? Okay, I'm gonna have green tea because like, I need a bit of like, warmth. So it's really, really busy around the area today it might stay like this till the end of the day where are you from i'm england england yeah say hello to my subscribers hello <laughs> yeah they're very nice around the area because um, I think this was the area where I met, um, not this particular area, but somewhere around this area was where I met um, the Norwegian guys, where one of them told me to go to the library. He said, go and visit the library. And I was like, visit the library for what? <laughs> uh, that was too funny. Um, yeah, hold on, let me pay for my tea. One sec. Okay, um, I'm waiting for my tea. So, whilst I'm waiting for my tea, let's look around to see what we have. So, this is a pole connected to the, um, to the bit where the tram goes through. And they've got a lot of like Ukrainian writing on it, on that pole. So let's avoid that. Um, let me see if I have the chance to walk to that building whilst I'm waiting for my tea. If I can use that opportunity just to find out what that building is. So one thing i've noticed about norwegians is they are really tall like i'm not talking six foot though i'm talking like six seven six eight i swear they could play for the nba a lot of them are really tall tall and blonde like the guys are really tall i saw some of them in my hotel today and one was joking saying oh i'm from england i said no you're not <laughs> clearly not um Okay, so this building, yeah. what the hell is it? Okay, um, I don't know where it is. A lot of people are skateboarding around it as well, so who knows where it is. So I'm gonna get my my tea, then just keep gallivanting around to see if we can see anything interesting. So I've got my backpack on me. That's very unusual. 
and the reason why I've got that is um, today was checkout day obviously so my suitcase is literally in my hotel so they've kept that in storage so I've just got my backpack with all my um, my valuables including my passport so I thought it would be good to have that handy um, I'm going to go back to the hotel later on today it's not far away anyway everything in Oslo is close to each other so I'm going to get my suitcase make my way to the um, make my way to the airport chill there for a while jump on my flight then I'll be back in the UK um, I've checked in already so it's just a matter of jumping on the plane anyway oh what a day in Norway did that rhyme what a day in Norway so let's see what he sells anyway so he sells Chinese char barbecue pork 179 179 let's see how much that is in pounds actually let's start converting um, 179 and okay okay that's not bad that's actually like 13 pounds 13 that's about 15 yeah lovely thanks a lot enjoy yeah okay my tea is ready so i'm gonna move on but his food prices are decent actually and it smells nice mm. but it's too late though i'm leaving today so unfortunately i can't enjoy his lovely chinese um okay so we have a noble peace festival thing hanging there on that building. Oh, it's the Noble Peace Centre. Is that where they give all the Nobel prizes? All the Nobel Peace prizes. Um, you know, like there's that thing that they give certain people, usually like people of importance or like. Um, presidents or people like that and they give them like a Nobel Prize, a Nobel Peace Prize um, so is that the building they normally use? it might be, yeah the Nobel Peace Centre oh they do free guided walks in September oh I should have booked that you know what's today? oh it's too late Sunday at 12 I think I'm too late now at two. No, it's too late. Okay. That's nice. So guys, that's the Noble Peace Centre. You never know. One day you might do something good in your community and you might get you might get a Nobel Peace Prize. That's good. Okay, let's keep looking around. Um, does that lead to another building? I think, yeah. That building must be new though, because I've never seen it before. I think the Nobel Peace Prize building might be new. I didn't know they had a dedicated building for that. I never knew that. never ever knew but that's why you travel and that's why you learn every day so they do have one um, so maybe what I might do today is I might show you um, I might show you how their trains and their metros are because I've not um, shot any videos on their metro or their trains so I might show you how it looks like 
I think that's the um, National Museum or something. But yeah, I might show you how the uh, um, metro looks like, just for you to have an idea of how it looks. Um, okay. Busy day, busy day. This kind of reminds me of when I went to Austria. Because I went to Austria on a, no, on a Sunday actually. And it was so busy, like, it was proper, proper busy on that day. So, this feels very busy. It might just be that some countries are just much more, I mean, some cities are much more busier on a Sunday, who knows. Um, but I definitely didn't walk past this area yesterday. I'm, I'm definitely sure of that one. Also, there's a park I want to show you. So later on today, I'll show you that park. Um, that park is a bit exclusive. So I'll show you that later on today. Some people stare at your camera thinking, what's happening? Okay, they've got restaurants. Okay, so I know this area actually. So yesterday when I came, I think this was the bit I left out. So I did come around this area yesterday, but I think I was mainly based around the other side. Um, but yeah, they, they do have some nice restaurants around this area, just in case you want to have some nice food. Um, it looks more like fine dining. Um, let, let's look at the prices. The prices are actually very reasonable though. Fish and chips for 270. That's okay. Actually the prices are not bad, you know, so um because people make Norway feel really, really, really expensive. So far it's been okay though. Um I've not I've not seen any prices that will make me fall off my trousers um, the prices so far are okay oh that's a lovely lovely green tea oh he made it so well he made it so well um, yeah so there are literally a lot of restaurants around this area so this place reminds me of um, a place called Gdansk so I've been looking to go to a place in Poland called Gdansk and um, during my research I've seen buildings like this and restaurants like this Although I've not been to Gdansk before it is giving me Gdansk vibes literally so um, yeah it does look like it it just it does look like it actually um but well, they've got starbucks as well they've got starbucks everywhere anyway um you know how it is and they've got tgi fridays as well so mm, now i'm thinking what to have for dinner should i come tgi's okay okay tgi's I might consider coming to your eyes. But I don't know why everyone is sitting outside even though it's like cold. Um, let me see. So that's uh, TGI's buffalo wings. See, I'm not that hungry though, so I just need something to keep me going. Because I've got to make my way to... Um, Actually, I shouldn't leave too late though because I don't know how heavy this rain is going to be because it looks like it's going to rain for a while. So I've got to be mindful of that anyway. Um, but yeah, I might, I might end up having dinner here before I go. Um, oh, look at that. That's really nice. A nice place to chill.
I think it's actually a lovely view, like, you know, having a nice drink in one of the restaurants facing the yacht and the river. That's nice. Who would have thought you'd have a T T TGI Friday? TGI Friday opposite a river. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So TGI must be very lucky to have that. Okay. So I'm still walking around. There's a lot of boats though. I don't know if they're fishing boats or some are just for cruises. But there's a lot of boats there. A lot. Hey guys, do you think the TGI Fridays in Oslo would be better than the TGI Fridays in London? What do you think? Do you think the Norwegians know how to cook better? Do you know they are, do, do you know if they're better cooks actually? That's the question. Do you know if the Norwegians are better cooks? What do you reckon? Do you do you think the um do you think the steak or do you think the ribs in TGI Fridays Oslo is better than the one in London? I'll find out. Okay. So Oh that looks good. Can you see that? That looks really nice. Okay, it's drizzling a bit, but it's still okay. Um, I'm just hoping that it doesn't rain. Okay, I think I've shown you enough for now. Um, I'm going to have to sign off. Um, I might, I might shoot more videos later today. Um, yeah, I did promise to show you how the uh, metros are. Um, so hopefully I don't forget to do that. Um, okay then, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Um, keep watching my videos. I've got two videos out already um, and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care.